Ta-da! This was in my shirt. It's the itchiest, the scratchiest, roughest, prickliest, tickliest tag in the world. Ooh, it feels scratchy. Like my dad's beard. Oh, well, let me try, Sid. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that is rough. I can't believe that was in your shirt. I know, right? God. I think all clothes should feel the same. Soft, like my sweater. Now that's a good idea. Susie, mm -hmm. uh, why doesn't everything feel the same? Oh, great question, Gabriella. All of these things, Sid's tag, May's sweater, all have a different texture. Texture. Yes. A texture is the way something feels. Everything's made of something different, so everything has a different texture. Oh, oh, like a rock can feel rough. Or a blanket can feel soft. Exactly. And when you feel a texture, you're using your sense of touch. Oh. I'm gonna use my sense of touch to feel my shoes. Ooh, they feel <laughs> smooth. Great observation, May. Thank you. Hey, who wants to investigate the textures all around us? We do! Okay, scientists, grab your journals and let's go to... The Super Fab Lab! <laughs> We're going to do a texture treasure hunt. <laughs> Everyone's gonna explore the room and bring things back to the table. And you can use words to describe different textures. And when you bring your textures back, we can compare and contrast them. But what happens if I can't bring my texture back? What if it's a blackboard or the sink or the floor. You can describe the texture on these sticky notes. Oh. And oh. just stick them on. Okay. Um, but, oh no, wait a minute, I can't write. Oh, you don't have to write words to describe something. Scientists use pictures and symbols all the time. Oh. Now, if you Oops. wanted to draw something that's bumpy, how would you do it? Um. Oh, you know, I, I would draw hills because hills are bumpy. <laughs> oh, oh, and if something is smooth, you can draw straight lines. No bumps. Great ideas. Watch more on your local PBS station and the PBS Kids video app.